It's July, but it's also winter 2025. Hey friends, it's been a busy day in the shop, but uh, I just wanted to jump on today, talk a little bit about some of the early release boards we grabbed. Every year I see the season kind of, the hype is early every year. Right now it's July 20 something, and we've already sold, I can't tell you how many Megadeths, we've sold a few Jones already. I mean, to get your hands on one of these early release Megadeth, it's no joke. We were sold out last year by September 15th, I think it was. It was crazy. And then we couldn't get any more till closer to Christmas. And you know the story. Everyone was calling us nonstop. Not only that, Arthur's board has been insanely popular. And again, another amazing graphic. You know, just carrying on with what he did in the past looks super rad. Another absolute we have in early is Jess. Chimera's board. This, the Equalizer, is probably one of our best sellers. That one's going up on the website quick. We also have the new Mercury's in. We're waiting on the Megas, but the new Merc is here. And, oh no, we do have a Mega. Look at that. See, I was wrong. So the Megas are in as well. That's a super good sign. And then, of course, the Black Snowboard of Death. Another bestseller each and every year. That is an all-terrain slayer and was kind of the base of where the mentality of now, what we see here being the mega death. You know, everything started here. Capita's been doing this board forever. Right, Mikey? Yeah. Not only that, but Jones also landed. So we have a ton of Jones starting with the Mountain Twin. Again, new graphic on this. We're gonna talk more about it on the show soon enough, but Mikey, you were most stoked on this one, weren't you? That is... The Mind Expander Twin. Just such a beauty. And again, versatile. The bases, dude. So killer this year. New graphics. And that base pops, dude. So does... Jones every once in a while, see, look at that. So, and now we have that base. So, and that's what I love about what this brand is doing too, is you, that cut out, you got your die cut there. So flip, flip, of course, you're gonna have the opposite here, saving materials. There's not a ton of stuff on the cutting room floor, so to speak. Very, very cool. The way it should be. These guys are on it, man. Mind expander, expand your mind. See the base on that one. Yes, they crushed it this year. Again, we'll do a full review of this guy, but Spoon Nose, you know, Pow Slayer, great for Whitewater and Red Mountain for our zones around here. This was another one that we were pretty stoked on. Hey, Mikey, this look at that cool. new flagship graphic. Mm. Oh, so clean. And this, very cool. Nice. The other thing we're going to start doing is something called Quiver Division, where we're going to start selling used gear and buying used gear off people. So if, if it's a misty board that people are after, um, off the top of my head, say a Black Snowboard of Death from a couple years ago, I seem to have a ton of people wanting those still, uh, flex pattern, whatever it was, but there's certain boards that people just love. So reissues, things like that. So we're going to start buying and selling some used gear. Not everybody can afford, you know, to drop a thousand bucks on a board. So we might have some used boards around 400 bucks and uh, it just gets more people out there riding. Quiver Division will also have a vintage section. So we're gonna start selling off, I'm gonna start selling off a few of my beauties. Maybe not necessarily ones like those, but there's gonna be some misty boards popping up. They'll land in shop first, and then if they don't go right away, some of those are gonna make the website. So keep an eye on that, tributeboardshop.com. It's gonna be worth checking out as well. We're gonna have bindings in. Oh, we're not selling that one yet, Mikey. That MC I actually did buy in the 90s. So that is a board I have had 
yeah, that one's not going up for sale. Uh, <laughs> the the Emma P is probably not yet. I mean, make me an offer. I don't know. You never know. Maybe I will. Another amazing early release. Like, come on. Mikey, how tall are you? I'm 6'1". Yeah, there we go. This is 6'5". Such a beauty. So good to see the Doughboy back. And don't kid yourself. Anybody can ride that. I'm 5'7". I can ride that thing. It's, uh, it's narrow enough. It's got a good, I believe it's a 9 meter side cut on that, isn't it? And uh, you can handle that board. It's just got to be deep. No problem. This is a November 1993 issue of Transworld. And I've highlighted this area because uh, Mark Fawcett's little... Look at the hair on that guy, eh? <laughs> so good. The curls are coming out there. Oh, yeah. Fozzie's not in the store today, but we've been digging out some of the old mags. This one has an amazing Hetzel interview in this. Um, definitely have collected a lot of these over the, uh, over the years since probably 89. Oh, Noah, man. Noah. What a fucking legend. Hovercraft. Oh yeah, that's another beauty from the lineup. And the upgrades that we all saw last year are now continuing on. Same top sheet graphic. It just looks so good. Why would you change it? It's clean simple and it works absolutely that's worm uh, worm got us all when he was working here a couple of years ago got us all back hyped on this and uh with good reason i absolutely love that board and i have that in a split version uh we got a few right there split split hovers definitely something you want in your quiver Here, Mikey, that's a perfect example of one of the used boards we're gonna do. Thousand bucks with binding split board like Jones Solution from two years ago. Come on. Yeah, so a couple couple brands in early, which is so good to see. Like I was saying, July kinda is the start of our season now when it comes to hard goods. And uh, I'm just stoked to see it. 